But anyway, and, and Spider-Man, as I said, is my favorite superhero of Velo Catholics, okay? Uh, Spider-Man, I've used him to defend the faith, fellow Catholics. Did you know that? If you've listened to this show long enough, you know that I've used Spider-Man to defend the teaching of the Catholic Church on artificial contraception. Okay, did you know that? And if you, well, let me throw it out there. If, you, if you've not heard it before, okay? You know, artificial contraception causes chemical abortions, okay? This is uh, one of the uh, backup mechanisms of the pill, is that it causes a chemical abortion. And the way in which it does this, fellow Catholics, is that it thins the uterine wall. And so what happens is, is that a newly formed baby cannot attach himself or herself to the uterine wall because it has been chemically altered. It is now thinned, okay? It is a thinned uterine, uterine wall. And so therefore, a newly formed baby cannot attach himself or herself to it. And if a newly formed baby cannot attach himself to the uterine wall, guess what happens? He starves to death. She starves to death. Because this is how a newly formed baby in the womb receives nutrients. It has to attach itself to the uterine wall. Okay? So you have a chemical abortion that takes place because this, uh, uh, this, 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 this is... Uh, Disrupted. It is disrupted by the pill. Okay? But uh, those who advocate for the use of the pill, they say that this is not true because life does not begin at conception. Right? Obviously, if a baby is trying to attach itself to the uterine wall so that it might receive nutrients, right? It's because it's alive, right? It is alive. A, a person who is dead doesn't need nutrients, right? Only a person who is alive needs nutrients, right? I need nutrients, right? I need liquid. I need, you know, I need protein. I need, I need carbohydrates and so forth. You know, I need vitamins. I need all this stuff, right? I need nutrients in order to survive because I'm alive, right? And so if a baby is attaching or trying to attach itself to the uterine wall in order that it might receive nutrients, it's because it's alive, right? And so this tells us that life begins at conception, right? But those who advocate for the use of the pill, they say that no, 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 no. Life doesn't begin at conception. It begins at the moment of implantation, okay? This is when life begins. Life does not begin until the baby attaches himself to the uterine wall, implants himself to the uterine wall. And so since, since this event never happens because the pill disrupts this event, right, doesn't allow it to take place, then you have no life, right? There's no life because that's when life begins, okay? This is their argument. The problem with that argument is is that implantation is a verb, it is an action word. And in order for a person to perform an action, that person has to be alive first, right? In order for me to walk from this room to the next room, I have to be alive first because walking is an action word, just as implantation is an action word. And so... Their very argument, the very language that they use, betrays their argument. Life cannot begin at implantation. It has to begin prior to implantation. And what comes prior to implantation? Conception, right? The baby has to already be alive before he implants himself, action word, implants himself to the uterine wall, or before she implants herself to the uterine wall. And this is where Spider-Man comes in, right? 
Because one of the superhuman abilities of Spider-Man is that he can implant himself to walls, right? He can crawl on walls. And before he can crawl on walls, he has to implant himself to those walls, right? Now, let's say that the Green Goblin gets the best of Spider-Man, right? I mean, it could never happen. I mean, it's sacrilegious to even think that. But let's say that the Green Goblin, he gets lucky one day, and he kills Spider-Man. He gets the best of him, right? At this point, now that Spider-Man is dead, will Spider-Man be able to implant himself to walls? No, he won't. Because in order for him to be able to do that, he has to be alive first. Implantation is an action word. It is a verb, fellow Catholics, right? And so in order for Spider-Man to implant himself to a regular wall, he has to be alive first. And in the same fashion, in order for a newly formed baby to implant himself or herself to the uterine wall, they have to be alive first, just like Spider-Man, okay? So that's my Spider-Man analogy, fellow Catholics, right, for uh, defending the teaching of the Catholic Church when it comes to artificial contraception. Life does not begin at implantation. It can't. Their very usage of the language betrays them, fellow Catholics, okay? Life must begin prior to implantation, right? What comes prior to implantation? Conception. See, either way you slice it, we end up all the way back at conception. Because life doesn't begin at implantation. That's where life begins. It begins at conception. And so it doesn't matter how they manipulate the language, fellow Catholics. And, you know, we like to talk about the manipulation of language here at Cafeteria Catholics, right? doesn't matter how you manipulate the language when it comes to when life begins. We always end up at a conception, fellow Catholics, because that's the truth. It is the immutable truth. At this point, right, with all of the clinical advances that we have, it is the immutable truth that life begins at conception.